tell us more about uh, the South African Bow Hunters Organization and why bow hunters should um, should attend the, uh, the broadhead shoots. What is the reason? Why? Well, tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you, Rian. Yes, uh, the Bow Hunters Association, of course, tries to represent um, the Bow Hunters for South Africa. And the competitions, of course, is the visible part, the, the public part of the organization. Um, in that the, the Bow Hunters, of course, can come and shoot with broadheads on, yeah. on 3D yes, yes. targets. Yeah. And the advantage, of course, that is we do not uh, make the, the shot an easy shot. We usually try and emulate the hunt in some way or the other. Make, you, know, you have to either stand on your knees or even sit, and there's usually obstacles and so on between you and the target, um, which um, makes it a lot of fun at the one time. And, of course, it quickly shows you uh, whether you um, are, uh, know your, the trajectory of the arrow, um, whether you can shoot out of any strange position, yeah, um, which is quite sense. important. Even if you're um, shooting from within a hide, yes. um, you're sitting in, in some strange position or um, you know the roof of the hide is not so high that you can stand up straight and all those kind of things. But the competitions, of course, um, is one aspect of, of Saba. The other aspect is, of course, um, that we represent the, the bow hunters uh, with all kinds of, of, of covenant issues. Um, uh, we frequently have meetings with the government, we, uh, with the government where we discuss uh, various issues. For example, the norms and standards of, of hunting, um, uh, the, the, the TOPS regulations and so forth. Okay. Uh, where we also uh, provide input into what the critical measurements and so forth is for, for bow hunting. Um, other than that, uh, bow hunting um, in South Africa is is quite big. Um, it's not as big as the, uh, obviously as Europe or, or America. No. But I think bow hunting is, is, is growing in South Africa. Um, it, it's slight of a slight in a, a, a resting phase, perhaps at the, for this the year moment, too. Yeah. yeah, at the moment. Um, but the advantages and so forth of, of bow hunting we can see in any, in, in, in all of the uh, farms where, uh, I mean, the, the animals are just very restful, uh, you know, um, uh, they calm. not calm, they're not stressed, yeah. nothing. Um, so, yeah, we, we uh, see a good of a lot of advantages for bow hunting. And uh, I also think that. Um this was something I want to mention about blinds or hides. A lot of people um, is negative about it, but seen from the, the view of the, the game farmer, it gives you more control. Um, not only does the farmer have more control, but the hunter itself, because the hunter can now select uh, or be more selective um, on the animal that they take off. Um, and then you can always, uh, if you you know start about speaking about the, the ethics and so forth of it, um, you can always ask, well, if it is so easy to shoot an animal from the blind, why are we not shooting hundreds and hundreds of animals, you know, at a, at a much larger rate than, for example, yeah, rifle yeah. hunting? Yeah. Um, whereas, in fact, uh, the, the success rate of bow hunting is slightly lower than rifle hunting, which tells you that, yes, if you look at blind and hide hunting in, from the perspective of a rifle um, hunting in South Africa yeah. because as you know in Europe it's, it's, it's a standard to do it that way. Yeah. Um, if you take it from the perspective of South Africa then you may have uh, ethical or, or, or uh, fair chase issues with yeah, this yeah. concept. Whereas I believe with um, bow hunting you are actually managing the hunt to a for much sure. better degree. For sure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very positive for that. Um, of course, what I don't like is if you're sitting in a blind and it's at the only water hole on the whole farm. Yeah. I think that's, 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 yeah, that's not the really um, the idea. That's not fair chase at all. Yeah. No, I think there, there should be at least a number of water holes, a number of... Um, uh, and even if you uh, uh, if there's feeding that's being done, um, it should be done all over the farm, not just at the place where... Place, yeah. Yeah where the hunting takes place. Um, 
Another aspect of it, of, of course, is that the um, uh, concentration of hunters can be much larger on the, on the farm, um, which is also quite good, and it's quite a lot safer. If you just look at the history of the very few accidents we've had. Yeah. Um, so all in all, I mean, uh, in the bushveld, an arrow probably will travel two, three hundred meters at most, which makes it much, much more safe than any rifle or black powder hunting. Black powder, so yeah. Forth, yeah. yeah, for sure. No, it's got a much, yeah. much shorter range. Mm -hmm. No, thanks, Sadie. Thank you very much.